This time, we are going to tour in its most famous street called Hakashita Dori and a free art exhibition hall, Design Festa Gallery. Hi everyone, my name is Grace and I'm from the Philippines and I'm the one serving you today. Look at the people! Oh, I can't come right here! Oh, great! This is one of the famous stores here in Japan. If you want to buy a lot of cute stuff but don't really have the budget, Daiso is the store where you want to be. Everything, well, pretty much everything, around 100 yen. Look, more crepes! <laughs> Something that you can usually find here in Harajuku. It's no longer just graffiti, it's just like stickers for everyone's place. It's already part of the place. It's really good. As you can see, lots of wild looking shirts or jackets over here. Modern, traditional Japanese clothing. At the same time, kind of gangster. Yeah. As you can expect of Japan, like they think these through. This is to cool your mouth when it's really hot in the summer. So you just put this in the fridge and then once it's cold, you put it here in this pocket. We're buying this Harajuku fashion. Okay, let's change this to this one. How do I look? Great, okay. Thank you so much. I like that. Oh, they have weird ones as well. Oh. So what I really like about Harajuku is that you never know what you can find. Like for example, you have this really dark and kind of punk looking store right in front of it. This really cute kind of lollygoth themed store and then right beside it, we have, I have no idea actually, but some really fun looking stuff here. Perhaps of the artists here in Japan, but also I can see some K-pop here as well. Like, Pretty much everything is here. Do you happen to need? It's actually an umbrella. Oh, they have a higher one as well. <laughs> so you can carry out your katana and also still have an umbrella when it rains. Perfect. Whoa, so cute. So if you think that everything in Japan is quite expensive, that's not true. You have some affordable stuff here and there as well. Do check them out, it's really good. Okay, so there are some gigs happening here all over Japan. This one, for example. It says here that if you give the mask you got from the government to the store, they're gonna exchange it to this humongous cotton candy. I think that's a pretty sweet deal. Unbelievable. <laughs> Do you prefer your poop soft serve or hard serve? Whichever you want, it's here. Getting this. Here we have our ice cream soft serve. It's the king. This is traditional toilet in Japan. It's in its toilet in the right place. So smart. Now we're gonna try eating the king of poops. What is it gonna taste like? This is the most delicious poop I've ever eaten. <laughs> Whoa, there's that. She's also another YouTuber. And it's really amazing you get to see people like this here. Alright, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Strawberry barbecue, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just strawberries and a stick. It looks really delicious. Let's go. I heard there's a shrine here. So we're just gonna go look at that. And, mm, sushi, ninja, and toilet. Amazing. And right beside it, we have the entrance to the shrine. Wow, how cool. Like, from a very noisy or boisterous location, we just move a few meters, then tranquil space.
that's where people put up their wishes as well, I guess. We always have usually lions guarding it. Oh. <laughs> These are some fashion items. Perhaps I'm gonna try them in the future when I have more courage. When I feel more brave. Oh look! For all of our female viewers, as you can see here, they have a customizing studio for special lipstick just for you. So if you want to shade a particular shade and can't get it anywhere, you can try here. So this is another shop here in Japan. It's one of their fast food chains. And if you would like to try a triple patty, triple cheese burger, here's one of the places where you can get it. If you're looking for a particular set of shoes, they may have it here. It's also a famous Japanese brand. Look at that. Shoe lovers rejoice. So we've reached the end of the Takeshita Dori. So as you can see, so many different shops ranging from fashion items to food and even specialty shops. You can find it all right here. Okay, we reached our next destination and it's a gallery. We have so many interesting stuff I heard. Like, for example, just look at this vending machine. They were able to turn it into art. Let's go. What's here? Digital art. We have projection art here. And then, I wonder what's here. Oh! I think these are also connected to the cafe. But look at the art. We have anime style art here and more abstract art here. Wonder what it says. Mm. This is a good name. Just saying, just chilling, surrounded by art. So pretty. We have the artist right here with us right now. Concepts of the Concept the This is a really smart concept. It's a part of the gallery and it's called Reflection and they put a mirror right at the center. And of course, if you go closer, you see yourself and you become the art. I'm the art right now. Wow. Like really pretty earrings as well. It's just what I'm at. This is hand drawn. That's amazing. I like to draw myself as well but I've never had a chance to make something this big I'm like are these guys from Totoro <laughs> if you know Totoro you might think that they are but I don't know they might be original characters for this piece Ooh, look here everything everything is art the walls it's way over there as well so pretty. Photo gallery this time. We have so 
something here as well. surrounded by art and of course if you want to follow the artist they put their names here as well oh, and now we get Chixi oh, so we met some owls earlier and now we're meeting some chicks wow. cutie pies like this one oh so small <laughs> Are there art? Everything's art. <laughs> okay, so we just saw a lot of art, lots of themes, and it changes each time to try to promote something. If you want something to enjoy for your eyes, that's also free, this is the place where you need to go. The introduction of Owl's Garden in Harajuku will be in the next video. Stay tuned!